So, here's the verdict. DirecTV wins. And that's it, right? We're done? Wrap? Wrap. All right, I'm out. Oh. Just kidding. All right, well, not about DirecTV winning, they totally do, but we have reasons for that choice, so if you hang with me, I'll tell you why. But first, a reminder to subscribe to our channel to keep up with our many reviews of the services you should or shouldn't have in your home. And now that you've had time to go click on that subscribe button, all right, let's dive in. Now, for one thing, we like that DirecTV has twice the package selection over Spectrum, six versus three. The first year price spread between them is pretty similar, although with DirecTV you can go cheaper or more expensive than with Spectrum. Both services have a price jump from the advertised sticker price after the first year, but this is one area where Spectrum actually has the advantage. It does not require a contract, whereas DirecTV requires a two-year contract. It would be amazing if DirecTV could get rid of that contract, but the nature of the satellite TV business model doesn't really allow for that, at least not yet. Now, since Spectrum is a cable provider, they don't have the same constraints, so they can get away with the no contract model a little more easily. But as for the packages they offer, I won't go through every single one in painstaking detail, so here's the general rule. If you're looking on the lower end of things, stick with DirecTV. The lower tier packages have a good channel count, all-inclusive pricing, and they still give you access to the Genie DVR, and more on that in just a moment. Spectrum's lower tier package is simply more expensive, and that's for fewer channels and a less impressive DVR. On the other hand, Spectrum starts to shine when we look at the upper tier packages, especially after that second year price hike. Again, both providers have that price hike, but DirecTV's is pretty massive and takes you beyond what you'd see with a comparable Spectrum package. But one final note on price, I already briefly mentioned DirecTV's all-inclusive pricing, but it's worth spelling out what that actually means. Basically, a lot of the extra fees that you'd normally see, they're rolled into the advertised price. So DirecTV's monthly price includes installation and a Genie DVR. It will cost you seven bucks a month for each additional receiver that you want around the house, but compare that to Spectrum, which also charges seven bucks per receiver and an additional 13 to $20 monthly service fee, depending on how many of those receivers you have. And now DirecTV starts looking pretty good. So if you're only setting up one TV, the difference isn't so stark, but we would still probably point you in that case toward DirecTV, if only for the Genie DVR. All right, now I don't think I can put it off any longer. We should talk about the DVR situation. Now let's start with Spectrum. First of all, you don't even get to choose which DVR Spectrum sends you. It'll either be a Motorola or a Cisco unit. No way to tell until it shows up. Both can record up to two shows at once and you can record between 21 and 45 hours of HD service. Just to put that in context, that's about one season of a one hour drama, two seasons of a half hour sitcom, or maybe seven or eight football or baseball games. And that's gonna cost $12.99 for service and $6.99 for equipment monthly. Compare that to the DirecTV Genie, which records five shows at once, holds 200 hours of HD content, and does that without any extra monthly fee. So whatever else Spectrum does right, it's gonna be hard to beat the DVR situation at DirecTV, which really is one of the best out there. All right, now DirecTV does win pretty handily, but it's not because Spectrum is bad. And in fact, if you need no contract service, then it should take your spot on that fact alone. But DirecTV has better programming and a much better DVR at about the same price at most plan levels. Oh, and if you think I forgot about uh, DirecTV's NFL Sunday ticket, you are mistaken. In fact, we did an entire review just of that, and let me tell you, it is amazing. So if you're a football fan, go check it out. But anyway, as always, give this video a like if it was helpful, a dislike if it wasn't, and comment below if there's some piece of information that we missed that you think would change the ranking here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you on the next review.